So there he is, Barrow Katia has reappeared. He will be on the Kronai Relay, which is Saturn on every platform. So let's jump down and see what he has brought this week. There is, ooh, is that, that is a domestic drone. That's actually a nice looking domestic drone. A different one to what they have been doing because they've changed design twice. I'm glad to see they have actually added a new one, even if it does cost more than, well, a weapon does. There is Primed Smite Grenier, that is the damage to Grenier for melee, Primed Heat uh, Charge, 165% heat damage for pistol, Primed Pistol Ammo Mutation, and Primed Tactical Pump. Hmm, Reload Speed 4 Shotgun, of course. Many Primed mods. There is the Prisma Koi Sentinel Tail. Do love the Prisma Effect items, they just look really, really nice. The Prisma Sigil still has the Prisma Effect. Actually, that has the Verve Effect on it. The square is moving forward. Yeah, that would look pretty nice on uh, Loki Verve, but never mind. The Redeemer Elixir skin. Come on, rotate round, let us zoom in. No? Okay, moving on. There is the Prisma Angstrom, considering what comes next week. If you've got the Steel Path circuit available, the Incarnans come out for this next week. Reset this week, actually, on Sunday, the 30th of July. The Incarnan for this will be available. Only added yesterday, and they've kind of done some moving around for that. And the Volcar Wraith. To be fair, every time, I would have to go for the Prisma Angstrom. There is the three-day resource booster, the Tigris Elixir skin, the Prisma Kubro Glyph, the Scimitar Cydonia skin. I'm kind of glad they added this effect. I'm not sure if it was there before or I just never give this thing a chance. The way the gold's kind of glistening and moving. There is the Lotus Ephemera that has Lotus flowers appearing around you as you walk. Another Primed mod, Primed Smite Corrupted, obviously damage to Corrupted for melee. Zaku's Prex Cord still missing its number at the top. Respect if you know which number frame that actually is, but yeah, they kind of need to fix that one considering that's how you get his Prex card. There is the Tanukai shoulder plate, the Tanukai chest plate. I'm going to get wrong for pronouncing that wrong. And the Tanukai leg plates as well. This armor actually does look pretty nice. The Don't Be Afraid poster that, well, put it on your wall backwards and laugh. Because it, well, you can re reverse these and backwards this thing looks just kind of straight up weird. There is the Cult Sandana that is literally just torn up pieces of who knows what. The Transmuter Operator Hood. Yep, not talking about that one anymore. The Fear Path Ephemera. The Sands of Anaris Blueprint. And of course, if you have Anaris Prime equipped when you come and see him, then all the way down there at the bottom, the Barrow Void Signal will appear. This allows you to do a defense mission, defending Barrow in the Void for basically the Elixir's armor set. You can buy them separately, but it's more fun to actually do that mission anyway. He will be around for two days if he has brought anything you like. You have until then to actually get in and pick them up. That will look pretty nice in the Zaramon in your Dormer Zone. Just saying. If you can't get on before he leaves on Sunday, there's no need to panic. Everything he brings will cycle back through. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.